Hello. 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 Don't know who you are. Oh, bless you, bless you. This is Cash in the Attic. But are you ready for us to rummage through? Yes, come on, come on. <laughs> the show that helps people find the hidden treasure in their home. Oh, look at this. Wow. My mum would love it. Ooh, cash. To find the valuables in the clutter, our expert appraisers leave no corner unexplored in their search for auction room gems. Oh, there's plenty of stuff in here to look at. This is a proper rummage. <laughs> Some finds are a total surprise. Oh, my goodness. Wow. How much? It's rather exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Some are unwanted. Yeah, they're quite freaky, aren't they? Chucky. <laughs> And others are hard to part with. Is it something that you'd think about selling? I don't think I would. <laughs> Our appraisers' expert valuations will help people decide to sell or not to sell. We would put an estimate of three to five hundred. Mm -hmm. I think you should, Mum. I think it's worth nearly a thousand pounds. Really? Yeah. Eileen? It's definitely going. We don't want any of it back. Then it's off to the auction to see if they can raise the money to make a dream come true. Name piece, 50s bid. Oh! Hold on, 110. Oh, you bid it, you bid it. 600, nothing like a bit of tension. Oh, I've got gears bumps. On the phone. 32 now online and we've done. Astonishing. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> astonishing. It's old. <laughs> oh, Cassandra, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. We're on our way to meet today's treasure hunters, Janet, Vic, Danielle, and baby Freddy from Bristol. You're going to be a film star. <laughs> <laughs> Janet and Vic have been married for 58 years. They have two sons, three grandchildren, and now a great-grandson. How about that for a multi-generational cocktail? I love being a great-granddad. He's the first great grandson, and he's lovely. He's definitely spoiled, yeah, <laughs> definitely. But he's brought us so much love and happiness. Before they retired, Janet was a science technician in a school, and Vic was a builder. After 58 years together, they've got a lot of stuff. We have been kleptomaniacs over the years. <laughs> My pops has been asking me to try and sell all his things, trying to sell it online. <laughs> but, yeah, they just have so much stuff that there's no way I could sell all that. During his career, Vic collected all sorts of things from building sites, but Janet's more partial to the luxuries in life. I do love clothes and I do like jewellery. Yeah. But apart from that, I don't think I am too bad. Well, the last time I counted, it's got to be at least 150, at least. At least. It's probably even more. Yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, well, we got so much stuff over the years. <clears throat> you forget what you put away. Now it's time for declutter. My garage would be quite empty when you moved it all. <laughs> 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 yeah. If anyone's going to find the treasure buried in this home, it's appraiser David Fergus. I love this job because no two days are the same. You never know what you're going to see. There's no way of guaranteeing success in the auction world because you just never know how much somebody's prepared to pay. And that's why it's exciting. David and Jules will need to be on sparkling form today. Vic and Janet have a diamond anniversary coming up. They're hoping that they can raise some money with which they can treat the family to a bit of fun, and why not? We're hoping to get enough money to actually take all the family away, um, depending on how much we get. As long as we're all together and celebrating, then anywhere would be nice. Ideally, we would love to take them on a mini cruise. I thought with 60 years, there's quite a lot. Not many people get there, so it'd be lovely to uh, celebrate big with all the family. Have a good uh, booze up. Love it. <laughs> With almost six decades' worth of belongings to consider, we'll need to go all out for our diamond duo. 
Well, David, I think we could be in for a bit of a treat today. I get the feeling that uh, Vic and Janet have got loads of stuff, plenty of you to get your teeth into. Let's get inside and get rummaging. Come on, let's go and meet them. Hey, Hello. Janet. Hello. Hello. Hello there. Welcome. Nice to see you. This must be Danielle. Oh, Danielle. Danielle. Hello. And Freddie. Freddie, yeah. Hello, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, then. Let's get in and uh, have a look around. You can lead the way. Lead the way, Freddie. Lead the way, While David heads off to start the hunt, what's the target number for the rummage today? So how much are you hoping to raise? I'm aiming, hoping, that it would be between three and 5,000, because I think that is what it would take for me to take all the family away. Three to 5,000 pounds. That's a bit high. You think it's a bit high, Vic? So uh, we'll soon find out. Uh, well, yeah. Danielle, you know, I think it's your fault that we're here, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, my nan and pops have always been asking me to uh, try and help them get rid of some of their stuff. You want to get rid of it all anyway, so whatever we can raise, so much the better. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely. We definitely need to declutter. <laughs> I don't want to leave it to everyone else when we're not around. <laughs> <laughs> and fingers crossed we can get towards that very sparkly total. David's only just got going, but Vic's got something he's wanted an expert opinion on for a long time. I'm glad I met somebody like you because I have been dying to know <laughs> a little bit about these notes. So where did they come from? Well, as you know, I was a builder and I bought a house in Bemister and we was doing it up. And I happened to walk underneath the stairs and there was a hole. And I poured this tin out. They were all folded up in there? Yeah. So how long ago was that? 30, 32 years ago. I was going to put them on a black velvet and stick them on. Well, it's probably a good job you didn't actually stick them to anything. <laughs> yes. Oh, that would have ruined them. It gave oh, me heart yeah. palpitations when you said that. To find one Bank of England white £5 note is unusual. To find this many is... It's unheard of. I've never come across wow. this before. I mean, how excited are you on a scale of 1 to 10? On a scale of 1 to 10, it's an 11. Wow. <laughs> I, I have never seen nine Bank of England white notes in the same place at the same time. So talk us through them. Well, of the notes we've got on the table, we've got two that are from 1916. These six are all from 1918. But I notice on this one, David, it says Bristol. Yeah, bank notes back then were issued locally. So we've got most of these are Bristol. The only one, I think, which is the London March is this one here. And the beautiful thing about bank notes is they do tell a story. So when you look at the note, you've got the signature here of the cashier. So for 1916, so that's Gordon Nairn. And then in 1918, he retired and it was handed over to Ernest Harvey. And that's the other signature that we have on the remaining oh, notes. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. Isn't it fascinating to wonder who had them and who stashed them and, and what, they were, what they were planning for? Probably banks weren't very safe. People didn't trust the banks. So what are you going to do with your money? Instead of stuffing it under the mattress, we'll put it in a little tin and hide it in the house. Notes from the Bank of England's regional branches are rarer than London ones, and there's something really unusual about three of them. I did notice that some of them are in sequence. Oh. I was just wondering and hoping that perhaps that might increase the value. Sequentially numbered notes as a collection are worth more money than randomly selected numbers of notes, uh, and that is going to push the price up, hopefully. So, David, would you send these to auction as one lot, or would you advise selling them as individual notes? Now, I think I would sell them as individual notes if they were mine. If you put them all together into one lot, you're going to limit the market to who can afford to buy them. I think each one of these notes at auction, we're probably looking at 250 to 300 pounds. Wow. <gasps> Times nine. <laughs> so that is a <gasps> lot of money. Yeah, wow. incredible. Oh, Danielle, are you, are you I'm surprised? So excited. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. I mean, comfortably over. I think I'm going to get my um, aim. <laughs> 
With over £2,000 banked towards their £3,000 target, Vic and Janet's treasure hunt has got off to a sterling start. A friend of ours said the bank would give you £5 for them. <laughs> I bet they would. I said, no, I'll keep them. We just need to make sure the rest of this rummage is on the money. Fold. This is Cash in the Attic, the show that helps people find the hidden treasure in their home to sell at auction and make a dream come true. Let's get inside and get rummaging. We're in Bristol with appraiser David Fergus, treasure hunting with Janet, Vic, Danielle and baby Freddie. Every daughter of the family is Janet. She's a magpie. She will not get rid of anything. <laughs> I mean anything. I am guilty as charged. I am definitely the hoarder. <laughs> I have collected many, many things over the years, but I think now is time to let some go. <laughs> <laughs> They're hoping to raise £3,000 for a four-generation family holiday to celebrate their 60th anniversary. I mean, how excited are you on a scale of 1 to 10? On a scale of 1 to 10, it's an 11. <laughs> I, I have never seen nine Bank of England white notes in the same place at the same time. So that is a <gasps> lot of money. Yeah, wow. incredible. With at least £2,000 already, this rummage is off to a loaded start. But there's still a lot of treasure hunting to be done. Whilst Jules is putting about in the garage, there's something in the garden that's caught David's eye. Vic, come and talk to me about these. So how long have you had them, Vic? 30, 35 years. Yeah, they came off a job I was doing, and we took these down and they didn't want them, so I bought them home. They're reconstituted stone, so they are 20th century rather than earlier carved 19th century. And that obviously affects the price. So as well as this one here, I can see you've got another three. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, I think they're quite nice. They've got a little bit of patina, so they've yeah. got a bit of age, a little bit of moss on them. So they're very decorative. I think at auction for the four, you'd probably be looking at uh, 100 to 150 pounds. Not bad. See, yeah. See, it didn't cost them. Yeah. Fair enough. So you'd be happy for us to take those to auction for? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And back indoors, there's something Janet would like David to take a look at. Where did this lot come from? Every year they used to do a wine festival in the centre of Bristol. I seen it the first year we went there, and this just took my eye. A bit of glitz and glam, because I am a glitz and glam lady. Yeah, you absolutely <laughs> are. Absolutely, yeah. Once we bought one item, it just carried on from there. So presumably after a few glasses of wine, the wallet came out, Vic. Yeah. Uh, and this is... Oh, the happened. wine was... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> the wine was flowing. <laughs> you see a lot of it in auction. Uh, it's from a company called Hofbauer, uh, who are around from sort of early 1900s up to around the mid-70s. It's good quality German crystal. It's called Red Bird. Even though the bird isn't red, what happened is they would put the little flash of red over the top of the white and then a craftsman would then using a cutting wheel would cut through the red glass to reveal the pattern of the bird underneath. Ah, okay. It's complicated, it's time consuming uh, and it's a very skilled process. And was it expensive to buy back in the day? It wasn't, it, it wasn't it cheap, I don't cheap. think. I can't remember. No, I can't honestly remember what we paid for it, but I don't think it was cheap. What's it worth now, David, to collectors? In today's market, you're not going to get back your initial investment, but at auction, I would say it's worth around about 80 to 120 pounds. Wow. What do you think about that? Still... I'm quite sad about that. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> I'm very sad about that. <laughs> but if it goes to a good home, I mean, it's only been just packed away in a box in the garage, so if somebody can make use of it, then I'll be happy. <laughs> The valuation on the Red Bird Crystal didn't meet Janet's expectations, and she might be disappointed about the china in the conservatory too. Right, the auction houses up and down the country, one of the things that we see week in, week out, as what's known within the trade is collector's plates. 
like this series here, which is uh, Royal Dalton Plate. They normally have animals or they have country scenes. So they normally come in sets. Uh, the set would normally be six or eight or 12. And the idea was that each month you collected a different plate. And these typically were collected during the, the 80s and the 90s. Although the market has tailed off in uh, recent years, there are still collectors out there. There are still people looking to find the odd ones for, to complete their collection. Uh, and a typical value on this auction is probably going to be around about 40 to 50 pounds. David's valuations tot up at around two and a half thousand pounds already. Next stop, the garage, where Vic keeps all the things he salvaged from building sites. It's quite obvious that you spent most of your working life as a builder. There are clues and telltale signs everywhere. And I couldn't help but notice these, these lovely old blow lamps. But are these items that you've, you've used in the past? We use these on Ned pipes. Quite an art to do it. Yeah. To sort it together and do a nice joint. But there would be enough heat coming out of there roaring oh, away. Very, yeah, yeah. Very. <laughs> Of course, you couldn't control the flame because it comes out quite... In course, we had quite a few accidents with them. You could think about moving them on, would you now? Yeah, yeah, go into the pot, go into the pot. The blow lamps could fetch between 20 and 30 pounds. And these golf clubs are estimated at 30 to 50 quid. While David takes over the hunt in the garage, my treasure. Jules isn't playing about upstairs. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, look at this lot. Collection of dolls on the landing. What's that? That is a doll seesaw. Fabulous. Love it. It's been up and down on this rummage too. It's almost game over, but in the kitchen, Janet's got her jewels out. Well, Janet, I've noticed throughout the day that you're a lady that likes your bling. You're certainly wearing some today. Uh, but I certainly didn't expect to see all this as well. What can you tell me about it all? Well, first of all, I can tell you that this one was bought for me with my by my husband for our ruby wedding on a cruise. A nice surprise. Fabulous. And he also surprised me with this lovely Tanzanite ring. That was on a cruise as well. Who doesn't like to be surprised with George? Oh, I That's absolutely fantastic. love it. He's definitely in my good books. He's a keeper. Well, I, definitely a keeper. All the others I collated myself when I went on holidays. So why are you thinking of sending them to auction? Because I don't wear them all. And you've only got so many fingers to put them on, haven't you? I think the best thing to do is if we get a jewellery specialist to come in and have a look at them for you, give you a real accurate price, and then you can make a decision of what you want to send to auction and what you want to hold on to. How does that sound? Brilliant. That sounds fabulous to me. Even without the valuations on the jewellery, it looks like this rummage is going for gold. Will we beat Janet and Vic's target of £3,000? Oh, come on. Oh, nearly the bullseye. It's a sign! There's a diamond wedding celebration at stake. Fold. This is Cash in the Attic, the show where we help people find the hidden treasure in their home. It's from a company called Hofbauer. It's good quality German crystal. Jules and expert appraiser David have been hunting for things to sell at auction with Janet, Vic and Danielle in Bristol. So why are you thinking of sending them to auction? Because I don't wear them all. And you've only got so many fingers to put them on, haven't you? Janet and Vic are hoping to raise £3,000 for their diamond wedding anniversary. But will we be celebrating today? So, have you been pleasantly surprised by some of the items and, and, and the history that's come out from them? Yes. Some has been amazing, some we've been a little bit disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you, Daniel? Yeah, I mean, yeah, some items have been very good. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. And you've been very helpful, Freddie. Yeah. <laughs> so, David, your favourite item of the day, what is it? My favourite item by a long way is the banknotes. 
Now, I'm, I'm a glass collector, so normally I would go for the glass, but yeah. today it's the banknotes. Based on David's conservative estimates, so you could potentially have Best part of three thousand pounds here. Oh. That's very good. And that's without the jewellery, isn't it? That is without the jewellery. I mean, what a contribution that would make to Vic and Janet's diamond wedding celebrations. I think it's going to be a heck of a party, and I hope I get an invite. <laughs> You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Even without the jewellery, it looks like Janet and Vic are quids in for their three thousand pound target. Guys, we'll see you at the auction. Thank, Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 It's been a brilliant day. I mean, they've got to find out the value of a lot of their items. It's definitely been worth it. Very pleased with me for about five pounds. A bit of disappointment with other things, but <coughs> that's life. But uh, I'm very happy how it went anyway. <coughs> Good. What a day. I have to confess, when I do meet our couples who are aiming for thousands, I'm always a little bit unsure. But today, there's no doubt, we're certainly into four figures here, so I'm pretty optimistic. Janet, Vic and Danielle's Hall will be auctioned at The Swan in Oxfordshire. This former coaching inn has been transformed by co-owner and head auctioneer Tom Keane into a 41-room antique centre and auction house. All the auction, I very often say a prayer. I say a prayer for the things to go right, for the people who are selling things, and of course for our business, because people don't realise an auction costs a lot of money to put on. We've got a lot of money at risk, and uh, we want things to go right, so a little prayer doesn't go amiss. Tom will be conducting the sales at the auction, and he'll be drumming up interest from potential buyers in the hope that they bid big. I'm going at 660, a final call, I'm going all done at 660, something I've done. Meanwhile, in Bristol, Janet, Vic and Danielle are packing all the items going to auction. You've done that wrong. Tom from the Swan has come to value Janet's jewellery, but he can't resist a look at the World War I-era white notes first. Hello, Vic. Hello, Tom. How are you doing, right? Yeah, welcome. These are a minefield to value, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's so many different variations. Just look at them all, because I haven't seen them all before. That one there. My right, good news and bad news. Bad yeah. news first, eh? I like rather bad news. This is a London-issued white five-pound note. Now, I feel this is worth. We get them in fifty, seventy, eighty pounds on a good day to make one twenties. The good news is you've got all these Bristol notes. Now, provincial notes make much more money. But I think the Bristol Association will push up towards the top end and they could march on from there. But will Janet's jewellery get top end valuations too? Come and have a look. You all right, Janet? Fine. Yeah. Looking forward to what you're going to say. Hope it's something nice. <laughs> I hope it is too. I hope it is too. All right, I'll run through them quickly for you. The gate bracelet will make two or three hundred pounds, nine carat, nice condition. This little ID bracelet would do better. They prefer these, young yeah. ladies. That'll make three to five hundred pounds, three fifty, four fifty, quite easily. Amethyst stone. These are, they make two or three hundred pounds every time. Again, one twenty, one eighty, two hundred pounds. Best part of four hundred pounds. It doesn't sound too exciting so far. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I've a, got I've got an open mind. Good. I can hear a heartbeat going faster <laughs> though. So these at the top will make about 100, 150, and down the bottom they're going to make 250, 350. And you've got the necklace interspersed with little diamonds. The diamonds aren't too bad. The bracelet and the earring. So a thousand to fifteen hundred pounds on those, and don't be surprised if it makes the top end rather than the bottom. Six to eight thousand pounds there. Very good. Janet won't be sending all her jewellery off to the auction with Tom, but it's still a valuable addition to the pot. I'm really looking forward to going to the auction now. But we find <laughs> lots of lovely treasures, and hopefully we're going to make quite a bit of money at the auction. I will. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
two weeks later and all of Janet and Vic's items have been photographed, catalogued and displayed to catch the eye of potential buyers. The day of the auction has finally arrived. Wow, David, isn't it lovely to be back here at the Swan for Auction Day? There's always so much excitement, and I'm pretty sure that Vic and Danielle and Janet are also super excited, not least, of course, about those banknotes. I'm fingers crossed they're going to do well for them. Jules heads straight off to find auctioneer Tom to get an update on his investigations in preparation for the sale. Hey, Tom, how are you? Hello, Jules, how are you? Right? Oh, nice to see you. Lovely to be you back. You too, as well. The banknotes, what do you think? Well, I think we had some very concerning emails come in, three of them. Well, all three were raising doubts about their authenticity. Could they be fakes? <gasps> Didn't like the way certain things were printed. Have a look. To the untrained eye, like mine, they look pretty convincing, don't you? I mean... Well, when I saw them, they looked all right, because they had watermarks running through them and everything. That's, you know, like you check with a, a normal... See the watermarks there? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so they're all there. I had to go and get a second and third opinion on them because we didn't want to wind up with an egg on our face, yeah. selling them, getting them back because they're not right. So, interestingly, I went to see an old forger. He's in his 80s now. <laughs> and he said, Tom, it would have been too expensive, even back in the day, to do all these different serial numbers. They would have done so many of the same. Yeah. And especially with a run of three different numbers, they wouldn't have done that. Perhaps he could be wrong. So then I went to speak to a very, very respectable collector. He looked at them and he said, these are perfectly all right. Oh, Praise yes. the Lord. Praise perfectly the all right. Lord. But even more so, they're very rare. <gasps> Being from Bristol, they're even rarer than what I thought. Everybody who collects these knows they're here. A lot of people know they're rare, what they're going to make. I well. think the estimates are out the window. Tom's certainly gone the extra mile with the authentication checks before cataloguing the white notes for auction. All we need now is the arrival of our sellers. Well, guys, it's lovely to see you here. Well, we thought we'd meet you somewhere appropriate by these finials that were languishing in your garden. They look rather elegant here, don't they? They do. Very nice. Much better than our garden. I would say so. <laughs> well, I think you are going to have quite a party. Yeah. Fingers crossed, if the wind is behind us today, David, how optimistic are you feeling? I'm feeling very optimistic. But with the auctions, you never can tell. So it's a case of crossing everything and hoping for the best. Well, let's get this underway. Let's get into the auction. But before we do, touch a ball for luck. Yeah. You never know. You never wow, know. Wow, yeah. Because you don't want to be taking these home, do you? Let's take some. No. <laughs> Come on, then, after you. <laughs> With Janet's jewellery and Vic's banknotes all divided into individual lots, the family have a total of 35 items going into today's sale. 1100, 1200, yeah. 1300, 1400. Yeah. As well as the bidders in the sale room, there are potential buyers around the world online and on the phone. Staff at the auction house will be handling the remote bids. They're not my items even, I'm getting excited. Come on. The auction starts with Janet's jewellery. So when you were deliberating what you would bring to auction, what, what was your sort of criteria? Um, what I would wear now, because I seem to have gone from gold to silver. Get you. <laughs> First up, an 18 karat gold and pearl necklace and earrings. 150. Oh, straight in. I've got 250. We want 260. Oh, we're 260. At 250 a minute, 250 a 260. 250 a minute, 250 a 260. At 250 at 260, 270, 280. Yes. Oh, yeah. 290, 300. Yeah. 320, 340. Here with me at 320 so far, but at 320, yeah. 340. Yes. I'm out. At 340 a minute, 340, then going without 340. Yeah. Selling, done. 340. 340 pounds. Yeah. Next, there's a trio of bracelets. 220, with me at 220, commission we get there, 220 again. 230 gone. 90 again, you're fine, 290 again, all done. Various bids, a bit £80, £90, £95. Come on, come on. Give me £100 for these. So I've got 130 going then. 130. Brilliant. That's good. Great. That's good. Then it's the rings. 120, 130. 130, 140. In the room at 130, 140, no, say no, at 130, but at 130, is at 140, at 130. Got yeah. Brilliant. Okay. 60 pounds going, God. 60 pounds, all done. 22 pounds only at 210. I'm lying at 210, going to go once at 210. Twice at 210. Right. One the money at 210, it goes, 210. Lot number nine in Janet's jewellery sale is a gold watch. Charter 150. Then the half sovereign necklace. Edward the seventh. 
half sovereign. And the two sixties bid, two seventies bid, two eighties bid, three hundred pounds. Yes, give me three ten. That's three hundred pounds. I'll take three ten. That's three hundred pounds. Give me three ten. I bid three hundred pounds. That's three hundred pounds. Three ten. I bid three ten. I'm out. At three ten. I bid at three ten. Give me three twenty. At three ten. At three ten. I bid three ten. Give me three twenty. At three ten. At three ten. So you're three ten. Done. Two chairs. Thank you. Three ten. Fellow and sitting in the drawer. And finally, the diamond items. 500 bit of 500 pound. 500 on 550. Do you want 600? 600. 600 bit of 500. You want 600 out of 550. 600 pound. The bid's on the phone. 600 pound. Give me 650. That's 600 pound. Give me 650. 600 pound. Who else wants to come in? 600 pound. On the phone. Then going on. Yeah. 600 pound. Then. Yeah. On the money. There you go. On the phone. 600 pounds. Bottom end of the estimate, but. We're happy for that today. I'm very happy, yeah, thank you. For the 88 out of 14 carat gold diamond suite of jewellery, including a necklace, tennis oh, bracelet, drop on. earrings, 750, 800, 850. Yeah. 850 bid, 900, 950. Come on, yeah. 1,000. Uh, yes, 1,000 yes. pounds, 1,000 pounds, 811, now 1,000 pounds, 811. It's online at 1,000 pounds, 811 at 1,000 pounds. At 1,000 pounds, there's going to be 11 for it at 1,000 pounds. Cool. Sold for 1,000 pounds. Go. Well, there you go. A thousand pounds. Happy? Yes, very happy. Yes, brilliant. Thank you. The 16 jewellery lots have clocked up over £3,800 already. There you go. And, well, you know, we had one lovely item that absolutely flew. All the rest made their lower estimate, yeah. at least. So, yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. And there's still a whole lot of lots to go. This is Cash in the Attic, the show where we help people find the hidden treasure in their home to make a dream come true. Going with that 340 selling, done. 340. Janet and Vic have banked £3,892 already. Next up, it's the Stone Finials, our appraiser David Fergus valued at between £100 and £150. So I was thinking, £100, I'll take £110, £100, I'll take £110, I'll bid £100, I'll give £110. £100, I'll give £110, £120, £130. At £120, I'll take £130, at £120, I'll take £130, at £120, I'll take £130, at £130, I'll take £130, at £130, I'll take £130, at £130, I'll take 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 £130, Go on. The thing is, if you kept him, you'd have to build four pillars. And you know what he'd be doing that, Vic? You're retiring. Up for sale next, the Redbird Crystal, estimated at between 80 and 120 pounds. At 80 pounds, the main bit of 80 pounds, is that all? At 80 pounds. We've done at 80 pounds and going, a lot for the money at 80 pounds. Selling at 80 pounds and going then, sold for 80 pounds then. Got it. They got a bargain and you've got a bit more space. <laughs> <laughs> then it's the collector's plate David thought would fetch between 40 and 50 quid. A 20 pound of it, 20 pound, 22, 20 pound, take 22. Is there anybody else going to come in at 20 pound? I'm going to sell them at 20 pound. I'll call it 38 pound. You've got them. 38 pound. And the lots keep coming. The dolls. 10 pounds. That's the money at 10 pounds. Sold at 10 pounds only. To new homes. There we are. Golf clubs. At 25. These got the balls over bid. At 25, but at 25, give me 30, 28 and gone. 25 pounds sold at 25 pounds. You've gone. Three early 20th century brass and blue torches. That's it, £10. Janet and Vic have already smashed their £3,000 target. And up next, the items everyone's been waiting for. Now then, the banknotes. Yes. Uh, smile on Vic's face now. <laughs> <laughs> what a lucky find you had, Vic. But we'll find out just how lucky in a few minutes' time when they finally go under the hammer. We've got them in seven lots here. Um, now, what you don't know is that Tom has also had them verified oh to make God. sure that they are absolutely right, and they are. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. And there is quite a lot of interest. David conservatively valued all nine at between £2,250 and £2,700. But Bristol White Notes are so rare that, to anyone's guess, what they'll make at auction today.
The first is a 1916 five pound note issued in Bristol. Are you excited now? The rare original Nan White five pound bound, the first today of many today. Telephone will be connected. I can see an online bidders flashing away as well. Um, so I'm starting here at, for the first one at £300, take £320. That's £300, I'll be £300, I'll be £320, £300, I'll be £320. Room bids, phone bids. £340, £360, £380, £400, £420, £440, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £450, £
Well, it's not every day that we have the chance to meet those that have bought our items that have gone to auction, but I am delighted to say that today we have the chance to say a very welcome hello uh, to Pam and to Peter. Pam, clearly you know a thing or two about banknotes. You're not new to this game, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're president of the... International Banknote Society. Pam is also the founder of British Notes, a company that specialises in buying and selling banknotes from the UK. We were advised that there were some banknotes coming up, so we checked them out and nearly fell off the chair. It was unbelievable. What is it about them, Pam? Um, it's, it's the branch that they're actually from, which is Bristol. These notes in particular, um, the Nairn Five Pound Bristol, have never been physically seen. And the Harvey Bristol uh, banknotes are also exceptionally scarce. Uh, and the names that you're talking about? Um, they're the chief cashiers. These are the chief cashiers that you, you identified on the day, David, as well. For me, well, people say, well, how could you get an estimate so wrong? But as we've just heard, yeah. they're unheard of to the people <laughs> in the business. It's very difficult to understand the rareness of something if you cannot find it anywhere. One thing is for sure, if any of us see a Bristol banknote <laughs> that comes from that period again, we are going to hang on to it with both hands, aren't we? Well, I just can't thank you enough because never in my wildest dreams did I ever expect, you know, those notes to get that sort of money. And now from a very simple diamond wedding celebration with the family, I am hoping that I can take them all on a lovely cruise. You asked me first, is my notes? <laughs> <laughs> It may take a while to tot up the total on this one. My goodness me, the banknotes <laughs> absolutely took our breath away. And David, reveal please the grand total on today's auction on cash in the attic. Today's grand total, 51,489 oh pounds. <gasps> we can have a cruise <laughs> and hopefully put some money in our retirement pot as well. Well, which isn't... Which is absolutely amazing. Isn't that just wonderful? And, you know, you had no small part to play in getting them to cash in the attic, Danielle. How do you feel now? Oh, I'm just absolutely amazed. I never thought when I signed them up that we would walk away with that sort of money. That is just... Oh, incredible. So next time she has a good idea, I'd listen to it. Yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe what's just happened, can you? Absolutely amazing, amazing, wonderful. Four months later, Janet, Danielle and Vic are making travel plans. Well, you know, Nan always jokes about going on a cruise. We're actually going on a cruise! And to the Caribbean. An all-inclusive Caribbean holiday for all the family. <laughs> 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 Tonight we'll take you back 10 years and the unrest that ripped through the country, riots, the week England burned, minute by minute is brand new at nine. Next, number plate crunching tech puts cops in pursuit, but getting a stolen motor to stop is never easy. Interceptors in just a mo.